We're back. It's the Glove Palm Ladies, Kathy and Ellie, here to tell you about another fun palm program called Free Write. Reading and writing are cornerstone skills that all children must master. And children master those skills by doing reading and writing. There is only so much you can learn about reading and writing. Learning to read and write means reading and writing. It's been our experience that children enjoy reading and writing when they do it on their palm handheld computers. All the teachers we work with, and we truly mean all, say the same thing. When children use palm computers to write, they write more and they write better. Where is the data that backs up these testimonials? I wish I could roll out the studies that support these claims, but it's simply too early. The studies are just now being conducted in the schools. FreeWrite is a basic word processor. Students can use it to write short paragraphs, and they can use it to write reports. Students can upload FreeWrite documents to Microsoft's Word in order to add formatting and multimedia. FreeWrite supports sharing documents via beaming, so students can beam a draft of a report to a peer and receive the document back with the peer's edits. Also, students can work separately on a report and then use beaming to glue the pieces together into a complete draft. FreeWrite also has a spell checker. It flags misspelled words, but it doesn't offer suggestions for the misspellings. Ellie, it's time to show folks how to use FreeWrite. Notice that Ellie has a keyboard attached to her palm computer. While the children will use a stylus to write short notes, they must have a keyboard for longer documents. So in your purchase plans, remember to include the cost of a keyboard for each child. Okay, Ellie, sorry for that verbal interruption. Let's start writing now. Bring up free write, and the title of your document will be Mars Expedition History. And we see that your name is Ellie. All right, let's type the first sentence. The quest to visit the red planet Mars started with simply trying to fly by it. Ellie's typing, and as she does, if she makes mistakes, she can just back up, retype, very much the same as you would in any other word processor. Now that Ellie has typed the first paragraph, she's going to beam it to me to peer edit. Let's do it now, Ellie. Ready? It asks me if I'd like to accept the document, and I'll say yes. Oh my, Ellie's paragraph has some spelling errors and some factual mistakes. Lucky for her, she's got me. I'm going to beam the corrected paragraph back, and let's take a look at it. I think Ellie's got the paragraph, and now let's look through it. The spell checker found the word because misspelled. Since I knew how to spell it correctly, I didn't have to go look it up in the dictionary. I corrected it in all caps, so Ellie would have to correct the word and hopefully learn something. The second mistake I found was factual. Ellie said that Mariner 6 flew two years after Mariner 4. It was really four years later, in 1969. So I put the correct facts in brackets after Ellie's errors, again, so that Ellie would have to make the changes and learn. Now let's continue. 
While Ellie has written the first paragraph, I've written the second paragraph for a joint report. We need to do an exchange beam so that Ellie and I will both have the entire report. What will happen when I do the exchange beam is that Ellie will get what I have and I will get what Ellie has and we'll both have two parts. Let's do this exchange beam. I'll bring up exchange and as you can see Ellie should have two paragraphs. This is a handy way for students to work on pieces of a document and stitch them together. Why is free write called free write? It's because you can write anywhere on the screen. You simply put your stylus down and start writing. You can't do this in Notepad or MemoPad. Let's illustrate this important functionality now. Ellie created the Mars Web Search Record, a template for the students to keep track of the web pages they use as resources in completing their project. Ellie, please finish the template and add period up there between name and date so that you'll know which period the students are in. Good job, Ellie. Notice that all she had to do was put the cursor there and she could begin typing. That's it for free write. Like I said, it's a basic word processor.